Hello everyone, today you will be learning knife skills. Um, I'll teach you four different methods. This is a very important thing you need to know so you not cut yourself in the kitchen and you know how to cut our food. So let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to hold your knife. This is very important. And so as you can see here, I have my index and thumb wrapped around the knife. And in this shot, you can see that I'm holding my knife using some of our different methods of cutting that you will learn today. And as you can see, if you hold your knife like this, it's going to make sure you have straight, even cuts and you're going to stay safe. As you can see in this shot, we're going to be using our knife grip again with the rocking motion, which you will learn later in the video. And we're going to use this to keep the knife stable and safe. In this shot, we'll be using our knife grip with the up-down motion. And so then you say safe. The claw grip is a very important thing. As you can see, I have my middle finger out and my thumb right there. And what you're going to do with the claw grip is just make sure your knife does not cut you. And as you can see, it's gliding along the bone right there. And this is going to make sure you don't get cut. And as you can see, I am completely comfortable using it as this method. So I do not get cut and it will just glide along the bone. My comment is no. As you can see here, using the flat finger method, if you can even call it a method, is going to cut your fingers off. And if you value your fingers, I would suggest not doing this. As you can see here, if your hands are all the way back on the knife, it's very wobbly and unstable. You do not want to do that. If you are using your grip, as you can see, minimal shakage and you have control of your knife. Never let your knife have a mind of its own or it's going to go into yourself or someone else. So as you can see right here, very wobbly and that's going to go into you. So right here, we're going to be using the rocking method. This is the best beginner method in my opinion. It's going to make sure your cuts go all the way through. And as you can see, you start the tip and rock back. You're going to be using, of course, your middle finger as a guide for your knife. And this is going to make sure your cuts go all the way through and that there is no stuff that's not cut. As you can see here, we're going to use our method and you start from the tip and rock back. Start from the tip and rock back. This is going to make sure your cuts go all the way through, as I've already said. And so when you do this method, this is going to make sure that it's very safe. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be just a slow method. You can go very quick with it. As you can see here, I use this whenever my cuts just aren't going correctly and I want to go all the way through. So here we're going to be using an onion for a demonstration with the rocking grip. And we are going, to, I've already washed off the skins. As you can see here, I wash them off underwater. I don't know if that's the correct way to do it, but that's how I do it. So we're going to start from the tip rock back and cut through our onion and as you can see i just had to give it a little bit of extra force it wasn't going all the way through but you can use your rocking grip and as you can see i've peeled the skins off and this isn't going to teach you how to cut an onion but i'm going to just do some of it for you not the whole thing and as you can see right here we're using a rocking method to cut off the stem and so we're going to start on this as you can see we're just going to start at the tip in the onion rock back with our rocking method how you would normally cut an onion and then we're going to rock back start at the tip put in and then rock back so right here i'm going to go ahead and get everything finished up cutting now after you stupidly cut your onion way too far you're going to just do what you normally do so you're going to get your onion and you're going to do your um vertical or i don't know what it's called but you're going to do those cuts and as you can see, we're gonna start from the tip, rock back. Start from the tip and rock back. Start from the tip, rock back. I think you get the idea. And so right here, you're just going to use this method to dice an onion. You can use it for many other things and not just on onions, but this is what I had available to me. As you can see here, we've cut the onion using the rocking method. And so yeah, you can also do it as you can see here. I do it pretty quickly, just demonstrate you can on the rest of it. It's right here. 
So like I said a while ago, it doesn't just have to be a slow method. You can go pretty quickly with it. And I still see a lot of people doing it today. Okay, so after you've cleaned off your cutting board and your knife, so we're going to show how to do the um, up-down method. This is going, to, you're gonna see me doing this for speed. So as you can see here, it's gliding along my middle finger. This is really for going pretty quickly and you'll see me doing this if I wanna go quick. So as you can see here, we have a half of an onion and we're just going to slice it using this method. As you can see, my cuts weren't really going all the way through, but once you got here, I got that onion in under about 10 seconds. So this is going to be for speed and yeah, so this is going to be for going quickly. Okay, this is the drag method. This isn't really something you do normally. This is more of a YouTube trick. This is for dramatic effect. Pretend this is not a pear, and it's like a very juicy, amazing steak. As you can see, I start a tip and slowly drag back. Pretend that's a steak right there, and I slowly reveal the perfect steak on the inside. This is not going to be something you'd use at home. This is for dramatic effect. So here we're going to be using the mincing method. Um, I had pears available to me, usually you'd use this on garlic. I don't know why you'd mince a pear, but um, you do you, you know? So as you can see, we're just gonna cut it into some pretty small cubes right here. And so I've seen two methods of mincing. I'll show you both of them here. Kind of gather them up and you're going to put your hand on top of your knife. You're just gonna kind of rock back and forth. You're going to use this if you really don't want the texture of something like a garlic. You're going to use it if you really or trying to just get the flavor of it and let it sort of marinate in whatever food you're doing. So you can see that method, or I've seen it done like this. This is the personal method I use. You just go up and down really quickly. I feel like this is a bit quicker and you get some more, more cuts in. So that is the mincing method. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.